My name is Asia Sampson, and today on Baptism Overland, I'll give you my review on the Iceco JP50 Fridge Freezer Combo. I don't know if you watched the video that I uploaded before this one, but in that video, we did a 40% delete in the back seat of a Jeep JK. Took out the small seat, built a platform for this Iceco JP50 fridge. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out because I'm really super proud of that build. It was a clever way of mounting this fridge inside the vehicle. But now that we have that thing installed and we can now put the fridge in there, I just kind of wanted to give you guys my review of the Iceco JP50 fridge. Now I already recorded that review earlier because I thought I was just gonna add it to the build video, but the build video turned out to be too long that I decided I'm just gonna make the review a separate thing. So let me just go ahead and rewind and take you to that review right now. <music> Okay, so here is my review of the Iceco JP50. I will let you know the specs, I'll tell you what it can hold, what it comes with, and I'll also tell you the things that I liked and maybe some of the things that I didn't like so much. All right, so what does it come with? Well, out of the box, obviously, you get the fridge. I love the design of this fridge. I think it's just simple, it looks great, it doesn't scream out at you. I love the color schemes, it'll match anything, dark grays, light grays, blacks, whites. I love also how the logo is just super simple. I'm a branding guy, so I like things with really nice logos. In fact, I tend to gravitate towards gear with nice logos, and I know it has nothing to do with how well the product works, but I'm just weird like that. Like, something can work really, really well, but if their logo is ugly, I won't want it. I know. But I think the Iceco logo is super nice. It's super simple, no flash. It's just right on the side and it won't scream out at you. But the whole design is the same way. On this side, you have a handle. The handles are great. They actually snap. So it's hard. And I know that it might loosen up eventually, but this thing is solid. But you do have to screw these in. When you get the fridge, these will not be attached. You need to go ahead and screw these in. They're very, very simple. There's already holes in there and you just mount this up. Now, I really like the control panel interface on this fridge. It's clean, it's sleek, and it's very pared down, which makes this super simple to operate because you don't have a lot of buttons you have to deal with. There's only four buttons on this thing. Starting on the left, you have your on-off button, which obviously will turn the unit on and off. Next to that, you have your max eco button, and you press that depending on which mode you want. Having it on max will allow you to cool the unit a lot faster, but if it's already cool, go ahead and put it on eco so that it's not drawing too much power. And then on the other side of the LCD screen, you have your minus and plus buttons, which will allow you to set the temperature. Now on the same side as your control panel, you have your power input. And this is basically standard no matter what kind of portable fridge you buy. On the very left, you have your AC power input. This is if you want to plug this in your house, keep it in the house, or just use your house to power this thing up, cool it down, and then move it to your vehicle. That's where you would plug that. Next to that, you have your fuse. This one comes with a 15A fuse. It's a standard automotive fuse. If that ever breaks, just pull it out, put a new one in there. But that one's 15A. Next to that, you have your DC input. This is what allows you to use your vehicle to power this thing. One end goes here, and then the other end of this plug goes to a 12 volt socket. And then next to that, you have a toggle that goes from medium, high, and low. What's great about this is that this ensures that this thing won't kill your battery. So you choose the threshold that you want, whether that's medium, that's high, or that's low, and I'll give you the specs on that in just a minute. Next to that, is the air vent and inside that air vent is the heart of the system which is a CCOP compressor which Iceco boasts to be one of the best compressors you can get for a fridge and they use the best parts to make sure that this thing will last you for a really really long time. Now inside the fridge you have a wire basket that is completely removable which I love. That way you can just fill this up with food and then when you need something later, you don't have to dig through the whole fridge to see if it's at the very bottom. You can just remove the wire basket and you can look around and see where everything is. It also has a divider for it so that if you want to divide your items even more, you can do so. Just slide this in there and then you'll be able to divide it or not even use this at all and just use this as one big unit. But I like that it can divide. I'm a very OCD kind of guy, so this will work just fine. 
put all your food in there, and then drops really nicely. Now with the fridge, you're gonna get three power cords. The first one is your DC power cord. This is what allows you to plug this into your vehicle. This one goes into a 12 volt socket, and this one goes to the fridge. Next to that, you have your AC power cord. This one goes to the fridge, and then this one goes to a standard socket inside your house. And then finally, you also get an extension 12 volt socket. This is cool because then if your 12 volt socket is too far away for this thing to reach, then you can just plug this up, use this extension cord, put this anywhere in the vehicle, and then you can just plug your fridge directly to this. So I think it's good that they included this with the kit. A lot of companies don't offer an extension like that. You have to buy a separate kit, but this one comes with it. So I think that's a plus for ISCO. And then obviously you also will get your instruction manual and a quick start guide. And that's it. That's what comes with this thing. Oh, that's not all it comes with. It also comes with a cover. I mean, how awesome is that? Not many companies will give you a cover with their fridges. In fact, some companies you have to buy the cover separately. But Iceco actually provides you with one. And this is great because now this cover will help keep this thing protected. Not only will it keep it from getting scratched up, dented, but because it's insulated, it'll also keep the temperature much cooler in here so that it's not drawing too much power trying to keep a certain temperature. So glad they got us a cover because now I don't have to go buy one for this thing. All right, before I go into my likes and dislikes about this thing, let me go ahead and give you the specs. As far as the dimensions for the Iceco JP50, it is 23 inches long, 13.8 inches wide, and 20.9 inches tall. Net weight for just a unit is 40.8 pounds or 18.5 kilograms. Storage volume is 52.8 quarts or 50 liters. Voltage is DC 12 or 24 volts and AC 110 to 120 volts for US. The refrigerant is R134A and the temperature range is negative 0.4 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 18 to 10 degrees Celsius. All right, so what do I like? Well, number one, storage capacity. I wanted something that can hold enough stuff but not be too big that it won't fit in the vehicle, but also nothing too small that we can't put anything in there. This is 50 liters. And that's a lot, especially for the price that we paid for it. And how much did we pay for it? $529. We got it on Black Friday. I think it's normally $579. But even then, that's a very small price to pay for the amount of storage that you get. Some of the bigger name brands that are out there, which I also love, you're spending over $1,000 to get the same kind of capacity. And this is 50 liters worth of stuff we can put in here. Now, one of the things that I did like is when you open the lid of this thing, there is a light inside, which just allows you to see everything that's in there. Most portable fridges that you buy does not have a light. This one does. When you open it, it lights up, especially when it's dark in the vehicle or it's dark when you're camping or overlanding, you'll be able to see what's inside your fridge. Just FYI though, the light that's inside is a blue light. I'm not sure why they went with blue instead of white, but in the event that that bothers you, just letting you know that it is a blue light. It doesn't bother me, but it might bother some people. In fact, I don't know if I can actually even change it because I'm not sure if there's a button here where I can just replace the bulb in there and make it a white light. I'm sure you probably can. I also like how tough this thing is. I mean, it's all plastic, so it makes it really light to carry around but it does not look like cheap plastic at all. This looks really rugged. It looks like it can take a beating, but I guess I'll know a little bit more about that once I actually take it through its paces, but I don't think this is gonna break anytime soon. Now, as far as how it handles its primary job, which is cooling things, well, I did plug it up in the house so I can test it. And then every now and then I would go and check on it. And about two hours later, it was super cold inside and it was ready to go in the vehicle. And what I liked is every time I went to check on it, I wasn't hearing the compressor go off. When I did hear it, it was very faint. It was very quiet. It wasn't like a really loud compressor. So that's good because I didn't really want to hear that inside the Jeep with all the other noise that the Jeep already provides. So that was good. I liked that aspect of it as well. Now I've already said this before, but I also liked how they have all the buttons on the control panel here. It's super clean. It's just like very simple. You turn it on and it's, I mean, anyone can figure this out. It's not really hard. You just turn it on, set the temperature and you're off to the races. So I like that. I like how simple this thing is to operate. Okay, so what didn't I like about this thing? 
All right, I'm going to be really nitpicky here because a lot of the stuff that I'm about to say isn't really a big deal. It probably isn't. Number one, the handles are great. Handles are great, but man, they're a little tough and they spring back pretty tight. I feel like I'm going to catch my fingers in there. Now, that could just be because this thing is super new. Now, I'm sure after a while, once we've been using this thing a lot, this thing will start to loosen up and it won't feel so tight like this anymore. So that's just one thing, but that's not a big deal. I'm barely ever really going to hold this there anyway. And maybe having it tight like this is actually a good thing so that when I put the straps in, then it won't like just come flicking out. Second thing is the opening. The way you open this thing is right here. Now, whenever I've seen people do videos for this, they would just drop it and it would close. This one doesn't. I'm still having to kind of press it. Now, I don't know, again, maybe because it's new, this hasn't had a chance to loosen up yet, but I will give you guys an update on this a year from now, maybe once I've used it to see if I still like it, but it's not a big deal. It opens really good. And at least I know that that's clasped closed. Like that's not going anywhere. And the last thing that I didn't like, I told you there's not a lot, it has to do with the cover and I'll show you why. So here's the cover. I think it's great. Covers are great because it helps keeps it protected, helps keeps it cool, and it's on here really tight. I love that it's tight because then you don't have all this play, like it's on here pretty snug. In fact, it's so snug that you have to kind of stretch it a little bit to get the zipper to go on, but I like that. You want it to be as tight as possible. But here's the thing. This cover is not at all attached to the lid separately. It's one big cover. So for you to get stuff inside the fridge, you're going to have to take the zippers off, pull this back, then go ahead and open the fridge. Now, is that a big deal? No, because you can kind of just ride around with it with the cover being over here. But then that kind of defeats the purpose of having this on, or you can just flop it back on top. I wish that they had a cover that one part of it attaches to the lid, the other part attaches to the body, and then the cover can come off with the lid as you open and close it. But because this is one piece, that kind of makes it, I don't know. It bothers me a little bit, but not enough that I'm going to give this thing back, especially for the price that you're paying. You're paying half than some of the other bigger name brands. I mean, if you can deal with that, you can deal with that. You may not even want to keep the cover on anyway, but I do. So I'm just going to probably leave it like this in the vehicle. And then when I need something, we'll still be able to open it and just kind of flop it on top. If Ice Coke can somehow manage to find a way to address that cover issue, maybe have something that opens with the lid so that it's not all one piece, and then maybe change the blue light inside to something white so blue light is not what's spilling all over our food and you could see it much clearer with white light, that's it. Those are really my only gripes. Like I said, it's not a lot. Considering what we paid for this versus buying the higher name branded stuff, I'm very happy with what I got and I will take it through its paces and I will let you guys know how it's been functioning. But for now, I like it. Can't wait to take it on its first trip. So anyway, that was the review of the Iceco JP50 fridge. I hope you found it informational. Not a lot to complain about with this thing. I mean, for the price that you're paying and all the features that you get, it's one hell of a fridge. So if you're in the market for a fridge, consider the Iceco. For the value and what you're getting with it, I mean, it's a great money saver and you're gonna get one hell of a fridge. I know that there are other companies out there, I won't say their names, who are staples in the overlanding community and if I had the money, I would probably have gone with one of them. But there are just so many mods that I still want to do on the Jeep that I am trying to get the best value for the buck. Not talking about cutting corners, not talking about buying cheap stuff. I'm talking about buying quality stuff. And Iceco, great quality. I mean, you could watch all the reviews and a lot of people do not have any complaints about this thing at all. So check them out. It might be a good fit for you. If you found this video informational, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Baptism Overland. My name is Asia Sampson, and I will see you next time.